Queen's by Andre, where I do predictions of the future. If you'd like me to do a prediction field, let me know in the comments below. Just a reminder that our show times and all that wonderful stuff is in our uh, website at techgreensbyandre.com. Uh, so you can get the lowdown when we when we are and how we are. Uh, this morning we had a little bit of a mishap because of computer error. Uh, it showed that we're at uh, 5.30 a.m. <laughs> so uh, hopefully uh, it didn't put too many people off the game. But let's get started with today's show as we're waiting for more people to come in. And I take this wonderful piece of technology off my head. <laughs> Uh, we just got this about a week or so ago. <clears throat> we got the VR helmet or uh, glasses, as they say. Let's get started. Today's show, uh, as you've noticed from the title of today's show, <clears throat> it's VR and the future of VR. As we move more and more into uh, the VR virtual reality space and all that sort of thing, and if you remember back in the day, well, still going on, that a lot of people are buying real estate in the virtual reality worlds that are being created, especially on Meta and all that sort of thing. This is a, a, a quest, I guess they call it, um, Meta uh, device. Um, it's the last generation. We haven't gotten a new one. We're always a generation behind, so, hmm. Okay, let's get started with a little bit of a what is going to be happening with VR moving forward. It's something that's been around for quite some time. Um, I remember it back kind of in the 90s uh, when vi uh, ver video games were just coming out. <laughs> and they would have some virtual reality nonsense that they're, which was just crap. Back in that day, uh, I remember Nintendo had something and it was all in red and ugh, it was just horrible. But we've come a long way since those days back in the 90s, early 2000s. Um, and of course, uh, if you remember that movie, Lawn Lawnmower Man, if you remember that one, was an interesting movie about VR. But let's have a look at where we're going to be going. Is it going to be the Lawnmower Man? If you haven't seen that movie, go watch it. It's a great film. Um, it seems that the the future of VR, I think, is going to be the health of it. Kind of is kind of down at the moment. I think it's just the usability of VR glasses uh, and the affordability of those glasses and i think it's going to be starting to take a little bit of a hit in the next little while as we go into financial uncertainty uh moving forward into the future i do think it's going to be doing all right over the over the next year or so but i think it's going to be coming down a little bit and i think everybody's going to be focused on other things uh moving forward um but of course that technology is going to be improving and becoming bigger and bigger and bigger as we move along. <clears throat> um, I Still a great market for it, but I don't think for the mass majority of people, I don't think it's going to be a thing until four or five years from now uh, where everybody's going to have one, that sort of thing. Could be even a little longer because of price, right? Um, it's not it's kind of like the computer. Not everybody had a computer for at least 20 years where everybody had a computer, right? Um, so uh, I'm just seeing that it's going to be a, a, about another five, six years until everybody has a VR uh, glass glasses type system um, in their household. Um, also, I think a lot of people are going to be getting into it for the escapism. And, and then we're going to get into that uh, part of uh, humana humanity where everybody's going to need it <laughs> and can't live without it because uh, you're going to be doing all your stuff with it and all that sort of thing. Kind of like what the computer became. Nobody really thinks about computers anymore because everybody pretty much has a computer 
or some type of device where they can view uh, all the things that they need on a daily basis. It's something you don't think about anymore. But that took about 20 some odd years. I remember the first computer I worked on, which was <clears throat> the Commodore 64, if you remember that, uh, back in high school. So I remember the days before home computers. It was a different time. But I am thinking that it's going to take about an, at least 20 years till everybody is into VR. And it's going to be growing from there. And this sort of thing will be considered old, right? By that time, and we're going to just have little sunglasses or something like that. Or uh, contacts that are just going to your eyes. and You do all the things that way. Um, so it's future is bright. It's going to be going forward. So if you're thinking of doing a little investing in VR, a company that's doing VR, I think it's a pretty good bet that, uh, it's a pretty good idea. Okay. Not financial advice, of course, but just think about that. Okay. Uh, we have some other pre-show questions, and then we'll get into the chat. Make sure we get a lot of people asking questions in the chat. Uh, we have somebody asking about Timpe, Timpe, I think it's called, or pre-search. Pre-search has been around for a little while. It's kind of a Google type thing. Um, which is the better investment for the long term? Will these two be around in the next 10 years. So let's see if it's, if they're both still around in the next 10 years, first of all, um, that'd be the first question that we nailed down. I don't think they're going to be around for much, much longer, maybe four or five years from now and something else could be coming along or they could be changing in some form to suit the new environment, new, Thing. Maybe it's VR. You never know. But I'm thinking something else is going to be coming along, which will be taking over that top spot for what they, they both do. For the moment, okay, uh, as we're investing in things and looking for good deals and all that sort of thing, which is the better of the two for the moment? I think pre-search is going to be the better of the two for the next little while as it lasts. I think something else, like I said previously, that something else is going to be coming along um, to take that position, that niche, as it were. And I think everybody's going to go gaga over it. Um, and they pre-search uh, pre could be part. I have a feeling that they're going to be partnering with this new thing uh, and add to the completeness of everything moving forward and maybe we'll have a vr version of it as well um hmm, something to look at i know you can get youtube on your vr goggles um yeah i do think that they're going to be going vr uh anything along now that, that system now they got to get where you can buy your games with bitcoin or something uh through the, through the headset so but that won't be for quite some time. Okay. You can use PayPal on there if you want. Now, next, another question that was in the pre questions from YouTube, I believe. Uh, flipping gold for Bitcoin. This is something one of the biggest mining companies was doing or is doing right now. They're, they've done, are out doing mining for gold. <clears throat> and buying the Bitcoin, uh, the $13 trillion market. I do think this is going to be def not too good for gold, okay, in the long term. Now, these mining companies are going to be getting incentivized, incentivized for mining. You have to remember when the price of gold is down, nobody's mining, right? These big mining outfits aren't doing much. 
they lay off the people and all that sort of thing. Now they have this incentive to keep mining gold to buy the Bitcoin. <clears throat> Do you see a problem with this? <laughs> that means they're probably going to be flooding the market in the short term with a lot of gold. <laughs> okay. So that price of gold was probably going to be coming down a little bit or a lot in the next little while. Could be the reason why silver is going to be taking off before gold. And I think this could be the reason why this is all going to be happening. <clears throat> Let's throw some cards down for that. If that premonition of mine is correct. Because when these companies smell the money, right? They're going to keep on doing that until the people selling the Bitcoin. Uh, sorry, we, we don't want any more gold. It's kind of useless now. Um, and I, I'm picking up, the, yes, that may be a fact. So if you're holding on the gold, you're going to have to hold on to it for quite some time or sell it when it gets to a nice high and uh, maybe get some Bitcoin like the mining companies. And I do think that there's going to be a little bit of a problem in the next little while because of this situation, because other mining companies are going to get the same idea. Hmm. Hey, they're making money. We can make money too. So <clears throat> moving forward, I think that it's going to be uh, a little drastic for gold in the next little while. Okay. So just to let you know out there. And today, a new commercial dropped. Uh, Toronto Dominion is the bank. They're now offering ETFs very, very soon. Uh, we were wondering when the banking industry was going to be getting into the ETFs. And I, we, I think a couple of shows ago, I was talking about banking industry kind of going in partnership with BlackRock and many of the other uh, ETF uh, providers. Here we go. I guess they got the paperwork and the legal stuff already. It's a little quicker than I thought, but it's probably something that they've been working on for quite some time. I I already know that the banking industry is already buying Bitcoin. Hopefully you are too. Now they just got to make it legal. All right. <laughs> Interesting card to have right off the top. This is the health of the particular situation. The judgment card. Hmm. Judge to be worthy. It's going to be something that's going to be uh, coming along that's going to be explosive and it's going to be making Bitcoin the big dog on the block. All right. Uh, it's, right now, it's kind of a small little. Uh, poodle <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. I, I still love Bitcoin. Don't worry. But in the grand scheme of things, uh, Bitcoin is kind of a small little thing compared to the banking industry. But once the banking industry starts to get into this particular situation with the Bitcoin ETFs and all that sort of thing, could be their own. I probably, uh, Toronto Dominion probably has their own. Uh, Bitcoin, I've I've known that they've been buying, especially and uh, uh, CIBC Canadian. It, it's a Canadian bank. Have been buying uh, Bitcoin as well. Probably Royal Bank as well. I know Royal Bank has the um, programming for the XRP already. They've had that for a couple of years already. So. I'm thinking that this is going to be starting the beginning of a big rollout of all the banking industry getting into the Bitcoin and either partnering with the BlackRock, the Fidelity, uh, Fidelity and all of them as their products or having it themselves. So now we're going to see this unleash uh, situation where all the banking industry is going to be offering Bitcoin to their clients. Okay, so if you haven't been bullish about Bitcoin yet and you're dabbling with all these small little tokens, you might want to look into Bitcoin. Just a suggestion. 
Okay. And of course, the last thing was uh, I've heard today. Apple Pay. You can buy your Bitcoin through Apple Pay in the UK. Even now they're having all this uh, legal and legislative baloney in the UK. Now they're going to be implementing Apple Pay so you can buy your Bitcoin in the UK. Uh, it was announced today. I was looking at my Twitter <laughs> for, for whatever reason. And it was there. So. It's going to be taking quite a while till those things get off the ground. I think, uh, of course, the UK is going to be launching some ETF-like uh, products in the next little while. That's assured. Because everybody knows that Bitcoin's going to eat your lunch, right? Um, and price going to be going sky high. And I think a lot of the people in the UK are going to be utilizing their um, Apple Pay to buy Bitcoin um, in a big way. Because they're right now, there's not a lot of ways to buy Bitcoin, apparently, in the UK. They're having some trouble. Okay. Uh, it is showing in the cards that they're going to have to tame this particular situation there's going to be one part of the government that's don't do that. And then there's going to be the other side that's going to come on in. It's going to be fun. So we're going to have to, um, whole situation with their government. They better get on the same page or they're going to, Bitcoin's going to come and slap them in the head. Uh, the politicians that is, uh, cause they've been doing some really dumb things. <laughs> it's the nicest way I can put it. Um, and, of course, the other thing that was newsworthy today was China is going to be starting their own ETFs starting next week prior to the happening, which is on Friday uh, in Canadian time. Um, so interesting times, and that's a couple trillion people buying Chinese market is crazy. They just love buying Bitcoin and all that sort of thing. So it's going to go parabolic in the next little while. Okay, let's get into the chat. Yeah, I didn't have my thing up. There you go. Now let's get into the chat for today. Um, two of cups for life. Hey, interesting. Hi, Andre. My parents are getting old. Do you see a year? I'm have to have to get my mom or dad a nurse or home nurse, please. So I am prepared. Hmm. I'm picking up. Not for quite some time. It's four or five years from now that you're going to have to start to worry about that. I think they're going to be more than capable of doing all the things that they need to. Okay. Um, but four or five years from now, I'm thinking that it's going to be something that you're going to have to look into um, in some form or another. Okay. And it's going to be something that's going to be nice and gradual. I think it's going to be uh, your mom that's going to be needing the help more often than your dad in the near future. So something like home care, if you have that wherever you live. I know we have home care here <clears throat> in Canada. Uh, something along those lines, just somebody comes out and helps with the laundry and all that sort of thing. Um, and that, if you have a good government, uh, can be pay, uh, subsidized by the government itself. Um, so you might want to look into that. So you're not running around doing all the stuff yourself all the time. But I do think it's going to be four or five years when you got to start to really look into uh, an in-person nurse, uh, maybe once a week or something like that. Okay, so hopefully that helps you out. Huh. 
Hi, Audrey. Will Poo, oh boy, delete some zeros this year. Be careful of these meme coins because they're crap. Right? Hopefully, everybody understands that watching this show, that many of these cryptocurrencies that are coming out, the meme coins, they're crap. Especially that poo. Ooh, stinky. Anyway, they're good for a short period of time. Okay, you can make some good money if you're quick. Okay, and then they'll disappear. There's only a couple that I would actually trust. And that should be Inu and Doge. Um, anything else? No. Okay. Especially that uh, Peppy coin. Short term, yeah. But I don't think it's going to be doing the thing with losing the zeros. I think it's going to be doing some other things that aren't too good. And I think you're better... Keep your eye on it and get out nice and quick when the time is right. And that's going to be very, very soon. Okay. So that's it for Poopy Coin. Hopefully that helps you out. Uh, we got Super Whittle Guy. It's been a while. I made it safely to Colorado. Finally figured out the time difference and caught your show. Ha ha. It's always been 5.30 central time so i i even do that at at work they go what time is it oh it's three three o'clock central time because now i'm so used to saying central time because i talk to people from all around the world now so where are you living okay <laughs> see that's the toughest part of my job is figuring out time zones Everything else is easy. Um, well, I don't know if you wanted the card reading, but I threw some cards down for you. Anyways, I think you thought there was going to be some type of change in the friends uh, that you were uh, putting more and more time into. They're, that's going to be switching around. They're going to be turning into your best allies. Okay, because uh, you have this thought that they may not be on the up and up, but they actually are. And they're going to be turning everything around and um, <clears throat> doing all that sort of thing to help you out. And don't take it for granted. Okay, they're going to come and help you out in a big way. So uh, there's your weekly reading. <laughs> okay, hopefully that helps you out. Um, Play Donkey Kong and 64. Commodore 64. Oh, or the Commodore 6. Yeah, Commodore 64. Um, hi, I remember the Oracle computers. I do too. That's a long time ago. If you remember, what's that programming language on 64? Commodore 64. Um e-basic i think it was called 10 go to blah 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 so all kinds of fun there back in the day um what do you see as far as food and diet goes for most north americans on the say the next 30 years i think we're going to be okay in the next 30 years there's going to be a short period of time <coughs> where all this bug nonsense is going to be coming into play. And then we're going to get, get out of that and move on. And this is where the farmers come in. And we all been hopefully watching the farmers around the world and what they're doing later or uh, since. And they've started in BC here in Canada protesting and all that wonderful stuff we got to be careful with our language it's going to be turning the tide around and we're going to make klaus schwab and the boys run for the hills all right okay so that will be fine you may not be able to afford much stuff but the food will be much much better 
become friends with a farmer or two. <laughs> I am. Uh, got to love meme coins. Yeah. I don't touch them. Will BNB Tiger delete some zeros in 2024 or 2025? Uh, just, just, just buy the Bitcoin. I, that, that'll be my new T-shirt. I'll sell. Just, just buy the Bitcoin already. <laughs> yes, these little coins are fun. They can make you quite a bit of money. But you can always lose a lot of money with them, too. Uh, who? I think this is going to be a, not as bad as the last one that you mentioned. But there, there's some legal stuff going to be coming up with this one. Okay? They're going to do something to somebody that <sighs> is a higher up. And... Uh, Oh, boy. Enjoy it while it lasts. That's that's all I'm going to say. Make your money. Get out and get some Bitcoin. Okay? And it's not going to lose those zeros anytime soon. Okay? Thank you. Uh, hi. In six months from now, when the non-crypto financials have changed, stock market will be Booking having loads of holidays. Ah, yes. Uh, banking holidays. Oh, of course. They're, they're going to do it on a Friday. And um, it's actually the, a little video out there that I remember seeing that they had a... Uh, back room where all the bankers were talking and they were actually discussing banking holidays uh, and they're going to be coming up soon and that's part of their plan to entrap you that's why they don't want you into any other cryptocurrencies because they want to trap you and uh, devastate you so if you're not into bitcoin yet hmm you better think about that. Yeah, it's going to be something that's going to be happening very, very soon. Hopefully, you you have prepared yourself <laughs> accordingly. Um, it's going to be taking off in the next, probably June, July, somewhere in there, that we're going to have really noticeable situations within the banking industry and the stock market. All the rich dudes and ladies have sold all their stocks. Hmm. I wonder why. So it is coming up very, very soon. Okay. Uh, we got to be careful. Um, eh. uh, Melon has doubled the questions again. Ah, here's one. Will the UK deal with Binance soon? Um, no. <laughs> I think they're good. Binance is still the top um, exchange. Even now it's going through all the stupid stupidity from the banking cartel and all that and countries and all that sort of thing. It is still the top one. I think it's going to be coming back in a big way. They're going to be coming in a different form. Um, and there's going to be a moment in time when the UK is going to be asking for Binance to come back and help them out. Okay. So, yeah. Their own stupidity is going to be like shooting themselves in the foot. Foot. Uphold exchange is big in the UK. What do you see for their future? Uphold. Well, they're going to be taken over by the UK government because they they got to control everything, I tell you. They got to know where every nickel is. 
it's not going to do him any good, but I'm thinking they're not going to do very well. I think that people are going to be just going to another exchange when and if uh, Elpold is taken over by the U uh, the UK government. Uh, and they'll, people just go elsewhere. Um, there's tons and tons of different exchanges, and we're getting get to the period of time when we're not going to be needing exchanges anymore. Because everybody's just going to use cryptocurrencies for everything. So why would you want to cash out? You'll be cashing in. Okay. And then you just move the crypto around and buying and selling and buying your VR goggles and all that sort of thing with your crypto. Why would you cash out to something inferior like fiat currency? Okay. Think of it that way. And that's going to be what the future is going to be in the next five years. Okay. Uh, that's an interesting question. Hi, my friend's funeral is tomorrow. Will his widow find a new partner or husband sooner or later? Um, hmm. Well, let her mourn first and then uh, move into that particular situation. There is a, something already on the horizon, actually. Uh, she's already um, gotten into a situation behind the scenes. You're going to notice it in the next little while that there's some type of relationship that she's had already. Okay. Nothing wrong with it. It's, it's going to be a thing. And I think they're going to be announcing it by Christmas time. Okay. Hopefully that answers your question. Commodore. Six. Okay. Uh, our, Andre, they're expecting Bitcoin to drop around the 20th of April. Probably a little bit. What we're experiencing right now is people getting knee-jerk reactions and they sell their Bitcoin and BlackRock buys it right up. Stop selling your Bitcoin to BlackRock. Uh, but, you know, it's a thing. So that in itself and all the td banks and all the fidelities and all the uh, cryptocurrency etfs you're going to be sucking these things up um in a big way yes thank you yvonne's not here today she's at work i'm working alone <laughs> but we're going to have a nice um nobody can see your message really um yvonne's birthday we're having a birthday party this Saturday, right after their show. So we got to kind of have a short show because we're going for lunch <laughs> with the family. Okay. We're going to a place called Salisbury House, which her dad likes. So it's going to be a good time. Hi, Audrey. How high do you see Velo going this year? Oh, so I ran quite a bit. It ran quite a bit. Should I wait for a correction before investing? If so, when do you see a correction for Velo? Hmm. I don't see much of a correction. Maybe on the 19th, like our other friend here, Nick, was saying. Um, everything's kind of low in the altcoin situation. So right now could be a good time for that. I don't see you're going to, I don't think we're going to see much lower prices right now. Okay. You got to get in, get out <clears throat> fairly soon. Uh, it's going to be very quick. It's going to be 18th, 19th, around in that period of time. It's going to drop a tiny, tiny bit. So it's not really worth it. Getting it right now, not financial advice, of course. And I think it's going to be zipping up pretty quick after that. Okay. And there's going to be this up and down and up and down. 
trying to time the market perfectly is impossible, even with a psychic's help. Uh, I'm just picking up this get it, sit on it for a short period of time. And as soon as everything starts to go parabolic in the next year and, and it, some change, then you could probably sell it at the nice uh, profit in the next little while. As is most other cryptocurrencies is probably going to be doing the same thing. Okay. Uh, Hi, Andre. I mint Ape Odyssey for free. Uh, and that is worth 2000 Good hold for a few weeks, or should I sell? Sell. Got that wonderful devil card. Don't be tied to things that do not work. Uh, I think getting out of it right now, well, taking some profit. If, you, if you're into profit, sell the profit. Keep your initial uh, amount you put in. Okay? And just ride that up. Okay? That's what some rich guys I know do. Okay? Um, yes. Thank you, Anne. I'll make sure to tell her when she gets home. Around 8 our time, Central. Will Clover Finance reach all-time high of $42? No. <laughs> I think it's going to be $28, $29 and some change. Uh, for the next little while, I think it's going to be going up okay in the next little while. Something's going to be happening with it. And it doesn't tend to go where you want it to go. And you might have to sit on it for a long time. Um, but I think it's going to take a lot longer than you thought. Um, I don't think it's anytime soon. Okay, so I hope that helps you out. Reef loose zeros. Uh, yes, it will. One of my guides is saying, yep. Not one that I'm particularly interested in, but I do think it's going to be doing that particular situation. Uh, not because of the things it's doing. It's just because it's riding around with the rest of the herd. Okay. So I think that's all the questions for today. Um, Got to get out of here. Good. If you like a personal reading with me, make sure you go to sacredreadingsbyandre.com where all that information is there. If you like to uh, get a Reiki healing with my Reiki master wife. Uh, that information is also on our website. That's sectorinspiring.com. If you would like to protect your cryptocurrencies in the best possible way, and the Trezor has its own trading platform, just to let you know. Um, if you're having trouble in your particular country, <clears throat> uh, that <laughs> Trezor Cold Storage Wallet is also for sale on our website as well. If you should happen to purchase one from us, know that we make a little bit of money from that purchase. Okay, with that said, make sure you like, subscribe, share everywhere, please. And I'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.